Good evening. There's growing concern tonight that the coronavirus has taken our attention away from another health concern this time of year, West Nile. News specialist Jed Bowles live tonight. Jed, resources typically used to fight the bite are now being used to beat COVID-19, so they're getting less when they'd like more. Yeah, exactly, Dave. Due to COVID-19, testing for West Nile virus in our state right now is at a fraction of what it's been in past years. Out of necessity to help the coronavirus response, mosquito abatement districts and public health departments have shifted their resources away from West Nile. The mosquitoes aren't necessarily at home and we can't kill mosquitoes from home. That's one reason West Nile virus testing is down. Ari Faraji, executive director for the Salt Lake City Mosquito Abatement District, tells me seasonal workers stayed away because of the virus. It was very difficult for us to make adjustments in the beginning of the season. We just didn't have enough personnel on staff. So testing lagged. And unfortunately, up until about last week, we've only tested at the state level about 5% of what we had done the previous year in 2019. Another setback, mosquito abatement districts donated equipment to hospitals. For example, we actually donated our extractor machine to Intermountain Healthcare so that way we can assist with statewide coronavirus testing. A machine they use in lab work. Intermountain Healthcare last week replaced it. They also gave away N95 masks. This week, Faraji says their district and most others in the state are ramping up testing as West Nile virus emerges. So we're very fortunate that all of our mosquito abatement districts are up to full capacity right now. We do have the proper personnel in, in place so that way they can conduct their, their field operations. So far in Utah, no human cases of West Nile virus have been reported and only one positive mosquito pool has been reported. But the good news is that our surveillance really has not faulted at all this season. We are still continuing to place traps in the field. We are still collecting those mosquitoes. The best way to avoid the bites from those mosquitoes that carry West Nile virus is to use insect repellent from dusk until dawn. Also, eliminating standing water in your yard is a good way to eliminate the breeding grounds for those mosquitoes. Guys? Jed Bowe, live for us tonight here in Salt Lake County. Thank you, Jed.